What's up, kind of busted here, and today I want to teach you how to make a secondary router into a separate secondary network for your house. So let's say you were like me and you do a lot of gaming. So the way I have my network set up is I have my main router, which I use a NetDuma R1 gaming router, is my main router. And I have it directly connected to my modem and then that connected to my video game consoles only. The reason for it is it's a gaming router and I want it just to control my gaming stuff. So I have that as my main router. And then I have an ASUS, which you're gonna see here in a second, that I'm using as a separate network but all within the same setup. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, you can also do this in bridge mode, but if you're already in bridge mode with a second router and you decide, hey, I wanna separate it, you can do this. There are some good reasons to do this and there's some reasons not to do this. If you put a gaming console on the secondary router, it is going to have strict NAT. You're gonna have what it's called double NAT which is also an added layer of security. So again, for the reasons I use the two router setup, is I have my Wi-Fi and my other computers and tablets and stuff on the ASUS router and just my gaming consoles on my NetDuma R1. I'm gonna show you how you can do the same thing no matter what router brands you have. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna open up your browser of choice and they're gonna log in to your secondary router. Now while doing this, you're gonna wanna go ahead and disconnect whatever router you have connected to your computer and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and plug in the router you're gonna wanna use as your secondary router. Once that's done, go ahead and finish your login stuff all right now as you can see I have this Asus RT AC 87U that I am using as my secondary router and again it controls my Wi-Fi and other computers on the network that have nothing to do with video games all right so as you can see it's a pretty normal setup um, however, uh, most people are going to go ahead and put this in bridge mode, which would look over. Uh, so it will look something like this if you were to put it in bridge mode. You would come over here and you would say uh, bridge mode, right? But I have it, as you can see, in default. You could also put it in access point mode. Uh, again, I'm going default. This is making it its own router. Well. Uh, instead of having it connected that way, the way to do it is come over to your LAN tab and it's a really, really simple thing. All right, so normally with this ASUS router, the IP address of the router is going to be 192.168.1.1. But as you see here, I have changed that one to a two. That is all you have to do to turn your second router into a separated secondary network. So what you'll do is you'll just change the third set of numbers. So 192.168 and again, instead of the normal 1.1, I put a two, which changes it and keeps it, uh, allows it to be its own network. So once you've done that and it's rebooted, you're gonna have to take out the one up here and change it for a two. Otherwise you won't be able to log back into it. Log back into it and set up everything the, the way you would normally set stuff up. Go ahead and turn on any of your Wi-Fi devices and click on your wireless, go ahead and set all that up. And go ahead and turn on quality of service as another thing you can actually do. So as you can see here, I actually have quality of service on this router. So not only is my NetDuma R1 doing all its gaming quality of service and all that stuff on the front end, it's also this router is doing quality of service and stuff on, you know, the um, my computer's plugged in right now, so it's there. And then all my phones and such uh, that pop up over on that side. And so that is it. All you have to do now is take your secondary router and plug it into your main router, all right? And so your main router is going to give your secondary router internet access, but you will no longer be able to access your secondary router via your web browser 
if you unplug it from your computer. So what you would normally do here, and the way I have mine set up, now this is all gonna depend on how you decide to go about everything, but my secondary router is actually in a completely separate part of my place, right? So I have a very long, long uh, cable that I was able to find from cablediscounters.com. They're not a sponsor or anything, just a website that I found years ago, that if you need really good, long uh, ethernet cables, they're the place to check out, and they're like really good price for really good quality. Anyway, um, so I've got my sec this ASUS in a second separate part of my place, and then I've run that wire to my NetDuma, which is here on my main setup. All right, and then I just plug it in as per normal. But if I do that and I were to try to log into this router, and my Duma is actually controlling my PC because I do PC gaming, so even though it's not a console, I consider it. Uh, you know as my, a part of my gaming setup because my net Duma will do it for anything that's gaming so again um, Because my PC is mainly a gaming rig amongst a few other things I actually have it set up on the front end and then other stuff set up on this on the back end So if I tried to log back into this router while I'm connected to my net Duma I will not be able to access it. The only way you're gonna be able to access this again if you do it this way is through your phone or a tablet or whatever else you actually have connected to this router. So if you're in a situation like me where you have a really separated thing, like uh, for making this video and everything, I actually had to grab my secondary router here, bring it down so I could show you guys how to do this. And then I'm going to, and I also had a firmware update. It was a firmware update today, so that was cool. Just two birds, one stone, bam. Um, and then I'm, uh, after this video is done, I'm going to just reconnect it back to my front end router, the NetDuma R1, give it a minute to boot, and it'll be two separated networks with two separated quality of services. And again, I got to note here, if you tried to hook in a console to this and you try to party chat or online game, you're going to have strict NAT. It's called dual NAT and there's no way to get around that. So this is gonna be an added layer of security for your Wi-Fi devices, your tablets, and anything else that you're just like, I don't care about NAT on. Uh, if you don't wanna do it this way, you can also, again, bridge, but uh, that's kind of two ways to do it. So um, that's how you get a completely secondary network with a completely separate router. I've been doing this for months now and it works great. It, all my stuff that I, you know, I watch, you know, Netflix and Hulu and stuff on my phones, all that works out great with the quality of service, and it doesn't interrupt my front end router, the NetDuma, at all. And it also keeps my NetDuma from having all of the, my household devices or in a, you know, so I've kind of separated the device list as well. Like I've said before in the beginning of the video, the NetDuma takes care of gaming stuff. So if I were able to show you the NetDuma, you would just see the Xbox and the Nintendo Switch. And like I said, this computer, because I use it as a gaming computer. But if you look here, as this is my secondary network, it's got my computer on here right now because I'm hardwired to it. But as you can see, there's my two phones. The other Wi-Fi stuff is kind of off right now. So that is it, everybody. That is how you separate your network into two separate networks so that you can have control over everything and you know um a little more security added there if you like the video don't forget to smack the like button don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here and if you made it to the end i want to apologize for this little blip over here i noticed it and i tried fixing it and it just, it just irked me and i couldn't get it fixed so whatever it's there but thank you very much for watching until the next time i'm kind of busted y'all take her easy